Understanding the walls are thin, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase you might have heard but wondered about its true meaning. The walls are thin. It's a simple sentence, but it carries a lot of context in everyday conversations. Stick around as we unravel the layers behind these words. First off, let's start with the literal meaning of, the walls are thin. When someone says this, they're directly referring to the physical characteristic of a wall. Thin walls mean that the barrier separating two spaces isn't very thick. This has a straightforward implication. Sound can easily pass through, making private conversations not so private after all. It's a common mention in discussions about living situations, like in apartments or hotels. Moving on to a more figurative use of this phrase, the walls are thin, often transcends its literal meaning. It can be used metaphorically to talk about a lack of privacy or the ease with which information, gossip, or secrets can spread from one person to another. This expression highlights how small the barrier is between what's meant to be private and what becomes public knowledge, making it a useful idiom in various contexts, not just physical spaces. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversations. Imagine you're living in a shared space and you overhear your roommate's phone conversation. You might say, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but the walls are thin. Here, you're acknowledging the situation without directly addressing the content of what was overheard. Another example could be in a workplace setting. If someone shares sensitive information and it quickly becomes common knowledge, a colleague might comment, well, the walls are thin around here, implying that secrets don't stay secret for long. Interestingly, the walls are thin also touches on cultural significance and variations. The understanding and use of this idiom can vary greatly from one culture to another, especially in places where living conditions and community dynamics differ. It's a phrase that can spark discussions about privacy, community living, and even architectural designs across different cultures. And there you have it. We've peeled back the layers of the phrase, the walls are thin, exploring its literal and figurative meanings, its usage in conversations, and even its cultural implications. It's a vivid reminder of how language can be rich with meaning, extending far beyond the words themselves. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase and maybe even sparked your interest in discovering more about the nuances of the English language. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.